Hello, Nada fans! This is Shadow Tree CC3 bringing you a Nada tournament because that's. I was asked to do so. If someone asked, hey, do you want to do a Nada tournament? I said, sure, why not? So here I am. Maybe we're going to be getting started today. Well, first go over the brackets a bit. So, tournament is. It's a double elimination tournament. There's going to be first off a game between Takeshi Box and Mac235. We also have a game between Draven and Daniil, which is going to be quite exciting. They'll be soon. God and Pepe Amper are already seeded in because they are the best players. That's not at all surprising. And we'll see the rest of these games go on in the background as they happen. So all these games here will be happening as I'm casting Takeshi Box and Mac, as well as Draven and Daniil. Once that's all set up, then just need to go. It looks like Mac and Takeshi Box are just starting up. They're not quite ready, but should be sooner or later. And once they are, we can get started. So yeah, Nada, for anyone who's not familiar, who is watching this, who does not know the game works. It's a much larger game than 0K. It's actually, probably should advertise this in 0K channel, come to think of it. But anyway, the game has started. So both players starting out, they are... We have Takeshi Box in the... Sorry, Mech in the northwest corner of the map. Takeshi Box in the southeast corner of the map. And just quickly getting up his opening economy. Both players getting opening economy. Pretty typical to get the three metal extractors. Big thing to note in Nada compared to Zero K is the fact that you have this tower here. This is how you build. You don't have a commander exactly, you have a tower. That's what you do. And the tower can build factories and then can build workers from there, but the engineers from the factories can only really build other towers or economy or defense structures. They can't build other factories. It's an interesting limitation compared to the way that most TA-based games work with a commander that moves around. And... Interestingly, Takeshi Box is going for only three metal extractors before getting his first power plants. Looks like he wants to go for something fairly quick. Ah, oh, never mind. He's going for metal extractors afterwards. Apparently, the setup that you're supposed to go for, or typical good setup, is three metal or four metal extractors, four power plants, and then a factory. And looks like Mac is doing exactly that. Although, yes, there is the power plants, then the factory, and then going back to power plants. Of course, like all TA-based games, like all RTS games, it's a good idea to keep your economy going the entire time. You always want to do that, because more economy means more units. Because there's not really much going on here. So yeah, by the way, this is going to be a best of one. Because the game is a really long game. Typically, games will take about half an hour to play through. So, oh wow, 10 viewers away. Typically, play, games take about an hour to play, or half an hour to an hour to play, so... I expect that these games are going to be no different and going to take a little while to play through. Anyway, Bot Factory coming up from Takeshi Box. Not at all surprising. Vehicle Factory coming up from Max. So he's actually going for a little bit different here. He's going for a couple Flashes and a Jeffy. He wants to scout out with vehicles, but... He's going to have an interesting time. This map is fairly hilly. Vehicles don't have the best time up hills, but they aren't terrible. I mean, a lot of flatness in the center. He's going to probably take up the center... Try to make sure he has all of this, and then go from there to Takeshi Box's base. He's not going to try to take it right away. Just wants to see what's going on in there. Takeshi Box going for bots, but only building only building one Peewee. That's bizarre. Takeshi Box actually has a lot of... His economy is quite healthy. I don't know why he's not building more units. And he's also... Okay, now he's turned the auto build back on. But yeah, you don't want to build a small number of units. There's no reason to. Like, Nada is a game of many units large armies and so forth, you don't need to build just a handful of units. You have the economy to build more, typically. And... Oh, whoops. I'll turn the extra shader. There we go. You have the economy to build more build, more stuff than, say, 0k. In 0k, you don't... You would only build a few units here and there and then continue on with your economy. Not as not like that. So, looks like the hint has been gone back to Keshi Box. And also by Mac, because both players are aware of how it's... Once again, remembering how this is supposed to go. They're both a little bit new. I mean, I was playing Mac the other day, and... He's not bad. Admittedly, I'm really new too, so I can't really say much. I, like I said, just 
checked it out a couple days ago because I was asked to cast this tournament, and they kindly taught me how to play. Very nice of them. Both players just staying up for their scouting. Actually, neither player really going aggressively for scouting. They are just staying in their base. They are not... or trying to expand a bit. The south is being taken pretty quickly by Takeshi Box. He's not actually setting up any defenses, though. There's a lot of economy here. There's a lot he can actually take if he wants to, but there isn't anything set up yet to actually take it. He hasn't got any builders yet. All he has is Peewees being sent out. On the other hand, we have Mac getting another vehicle factory. He's He's got the economy for it, although he needs a bit more power, but he's more or less got the economy for it. Getting some Flashes and Stumpies forward. Flashes being... Well, Stumpies being kind of the mainline tank. Flashes being a slightly faster, but less powerful scoutish tank. Jeffy's being the main scout, though, and those aren't actually being sent out anywhere for scouting purposes. Actually, no, there, there we go, finally. Two sides have joined. And Jeffy's are being sent in. Just scout, not scouting very much. Mac really should... He should scout in. He's only gonna... He's not gonna last that long. Like, this tower has really good defenses. If it fires at something, that thing is going to die. So I'm a bit surprised those Jeffies weren't moved in to try to take advantage of the fact that it fires slowly. See what else is going on, maybe take out a metal extractor here or there. I'm rather surprised at the lack of any harassment that went on there. Admittedly, that might just be my 0k background. That might just be that. I'm not really extremely familiar with how it works in, in Nada. I've had some success myself in Nada setting up attacks like that. But it's something that is a little bit tricky to do because of this defense of the tower. That's the thing. This tower is wonderful defense. It has it has an attack range to cover pretty much everything it builds. So it's not like it's going to be too vulnerable. But still, if you have enough units in there, it's going to take a while to kill them. You can actually do some harassment damage. And looks like some movement to the south from Mac. He wants to make sure he can take on... These metal extractors stop Takeshi Box from... Actually, no. He, is he aware of what Takeshi Box is up to? Let's just double check his... Oops. Double checking his vision. He is actually aware of what Takeshi Box is doing. He has a radar right here, and that's giving him a lot of information. While Takeshi Box, on the other hand, is pretty much unaware of this. Oh, where is he? Yeah, Takeshi Box has no radar. He has some vision of the area, but that's all he has is line of sight. He has no radar, he has nothing, no knowledge of what's going on around here. So I'd say that Mac has an advantage get out, just out of the gate right now over Takeshi Box. But that can change. Although Takeshi Box cannot move in. He's gonna, it looks like he might be trying to move in. These Peewees are not trying to move in too much. That's good. They will die here, by the way. They, these vehicles will kill them. Just, just to point that out, that will be death. But they are trying to... Well, is he actually trying to join this? I can't... Well, maybe. Well, it's not going to last long, that's for sure. Anyway, Takeshi Box is... Switching over to Zeus. Not a bad idea. Zeus are, for those familiar with 0k, pretty similar. EMP doesn't work the same way, but they are still a sort of lightning gun type unit. And... Also some hammers in place. I'm a bit surprised he's not going for Rockos. Rockos are kind of the thing to do against vehicles. They're, well, as in 0k, like the Cloaky Bot Rocco. They are a rocket troop. Though, unlike 0k, vehicles actually have positional damage. And, yeah, I didn't even bother to, cast that, to show that battle. It was, it was one-sided. Anyways, you can see these numbers here. Those are the damage multipliers on the unit. So, the back of the unit and the top of the unit are the most vulnerable. And everything else is less vulnerable. But the thing is, is that if you get stuff, if you flank them, it works really well. And Rockos have enough range that... They can usually deal with them no problem. And I believe there is actually an armor, like an anti-armor system as well. Like a damage system that specifically gives Rocco's a bit of a bonus. But it might just be the positioning. At any rate, Rocco's are quite powerful. Vehicles are slow enough that they can be hit by Rocco's effectively. And they aren't being built. Takeshi Box is not building any Rocco's whatsoever. He is... What is he building? He's building mostly Zeus. He's just spamming Zeus. That's all he's building. Getting a vehicle plan of his own. We'll see what he's up to off that. While Stumpies and Flashes are all that's coming up, so... Basically, Main Assault is what Max planning on doing. Not going for anything too raid-heavy, too scout-focused. Although Takeshi Box 
I'm a bit surprised he hasn't started to take this section here. There he is. Okay, there, there it is. There's the worker. It's taking as much as it can to the south. The north not being taken by Max. This north section is really good. The thing is, Max started in the north. He can take both of these ridges and not have to worry about it. I was actually talking to Draven about this, who's one of the players you're going to be watching later. And he was saying that the north side is really powerful just because you have these ridges here. I'm a bit surprised Mac isn't taking advantage of that. I imagine when we watch Draven, we will see him take advantage of that because that's something that... Although, admittedly, Daniel probably will also take advantage of that because it's probably a well-known strong thing. I imagine we'll see a north-on-north -north game in that particular case. But, and Draven might kill me because I mentioned that. However, he has not killed me yet, so we are probably good. But yeah, the north side, really strong. Mac is definitely at an advantage as a result of that. He just isn't really taking advantage of that advantage. The south side, however, is also strong. If you can take the south side, that's a lot of economies. You can see there's about eight metal extractors in here, a lot of territory, a lot of hills. If you can hold this, it's basically impossible for your opponent to get in. However, if your opponent has vehicles and you don't have very powerful units, it becomes a bit tougher. Oh, what the... Let's get the sound back here. Anyway, it becomes a little bit harder in that case, and actually... Now the battle's been joined. There we go. Sorry about that. I haven't... It's a little bit harder to set the audio settings and not in 0k, but it's not the biggest deal. Anyway, as I said, even getting up the hill, it's still a bit of a challenge because... Well, it's still a bit of a challenge to defend, I should say, because of the fact that vehicles are just much tougher than bots. And Max has been building a lot of these. The Zeus's are doing a great job, though, on the defense, but not good enough. The... Well, you know what? Maybe good enough. These... The Flashes here are actually not doing especially well. The Stumpies are doing fine, but they are still not quite killing the zoo, so looks like basically it's going to come down to the Stumpies trying to barrel through and avoid the Zeus entirely. And I think Takeshi Box is not paying close enough attention to this. He's getting, he's microing out that Zeus, but it's not enough. Admittedly, this isn't a particularly high micro game to begin with, but still. Anyway, where is... Ah, there, there is what... Mac is up to. Getting even more vehicles. Looks like trying to push him with the kill. Takeshi Box is expanding to the north and does now have radar. He does know some of what's going on in the north side of the map. Not much going on on top of here. Granted, nothing's been built here, but it could be, and Takeshi Box would be none the wiser. Though Takeshi Box needs a lot of energy right now. On the other hand, looks like Mac is a much healthier economy. You want to be low on metal, you want to be high on energy, like all TA based games. But right now, I'm a bit surprised if Takeshi Box's radar even works because of the whole energy thing. He is going for... Oh, interesting choice. He's going for pillagers. Or lugers, sorry. So he's going for artillery of his own on top of bots, which is kind of surprising given the fact that the vehicles are coming in here. And really, he, there's a massive unit disadvantage right now for Takeshi Box. He does not have anywhere near the same army that... Mac has. Mac really has been pushing economy. He's actually getting a lot of surprising amount of metal makers. Like, very surprising. He, like I said, he has all this territory. He can just take the metal extractors, which are more, they're more economical by far. So I don't know why Mac has been going this way with it. But he has. I don't think he's even built any constructors yet. No, I don't see any. Oh, they're not called masons in this game. I don't see any construction vehicles around here. I don't know why, because. There's so many metal spots that Mac has. He just has them. Everything on the west side of the map and the north side of the map are his. He just needs to take them. I'm very surprised he isn't. He is setting up. Looks like he's trying to go Takeshi Box down this ridge, but no, he's going down the ridge first himself. This is not the best idea. A Zeus in the way, going to just not do much. But the other Zeuses, however, are going to be able to take out these vehicles, no problem. Nice distraction. That was a bit of a distraction attempt because... Along the weaker side, we do have a flash coming here, but it's not going to last long enough. Not the best distraction attempt. And it looks like Takeshi Bucks might be gaining the confidence to go through that valley himself. Nope, not quite. He just wants to hold the... He's holding the line. He's just defending it. I mean, it wouldn't be a bad idea if he was going for distraction, if Mac was going for distraction here and then going to the south. And it looks like he is using that to distract a bit to set up north, but once again, I don't know why he's not building a couple construction vehicles and setting up a ton of metal extractors. I mean, he is now over to the south here. I'm just surprised he isn't doing any over to the north or over inside the center of the map. Like, sending a couple construction vehicles. Like, two or three. Because that... 
at this point, he has all that territory. He can just take it and get a ton of metal and get even more everything. So right now, like, 24 metal income for Takeshi Box and the same for Mac, actually. And Mac could have much higher metal income. If you really tried to. Anyway, this valley is turning into a bit of a stalemate. But Mac is moving in at the north side, north center of the map. He is moving in with all of his vehicles. Looks like he is still posturing. He's still positioning. Not quite moving in yet, but he does have a nice weak section on the north side. Nothing really there to defend against it. This valley, however, has, like I said, been a pretty much stalemate trench situation between the two players. But... Okay, well, an attack to the north from the... Okay, the Lugers are trying to defend against this line of units coming in. They are starting to pester it a bit. Not really doing too much damage, but they are being annoying, if nothing else. And... Takeshi Box and Max still fairly even on economy, assuming that this is updating properly. Ah, it's not, actually. No, in fact, Takeshi Box is ahead in economy quite a lot. So I thought it would update on selection. I'm Nada does some things that really I'm not too familiar with. I'm going to possibly try to see if the advanced player list will work with Nada. I kind of doubt it, but it might. Anyway. As I was saying, the... Well, Takeshi Box is actually, like I said, ahead in metal. He has more metal extractors because even though Mac has a lot more territory, Mac has not been taking advantage of that territory. And he is about eight metal down, or eight metal behind. Definitely ahead in terms of power, but it doesn't really matter. He needs to actually use that metal in order to get more production going. We'll see what happens though. The Lugers are about to get destroyed by the Stumbies and Flashes. That, they are not going to last at all. Especially since they're moving away and... No, they don't have armor. Never mind. They're not armored, so they're going to take even damage regardless. But they are going to die. Does not matter. And now, I think Mac might be moving in. No, he's moving up. He's flanking that north side. Try to flank those Zeuses to the north. A bunch of P a bunch of Rockos actually coming in here. This is where things are probably going to turn around for Takeshi Box. And, what the... Okay, Mac paused the game for some reason. You lagging out? What the heck? Okay, for some reason the game is paused. Okay, I'll come back to it when it's no longer paused. Just when it's no longer paused, we'll start up the game again, and in the meantime, I'll see what I can do about player lists. Let's see, so. Yeah, this is certainly interesting. Like I said, this is kind of new to me as well, as maybe to many of you who are watching. I don't know how many people are watching who aren't Nauta players, so if you aren't a Nauta player, just say in the chat, because I don't know how many Nauta players are actually here. I didn't really advertise this. I probably should have a bit better, but yeah, I didn't mention it in the Zero K lobby that I'm doing this. I guess I might as well. Just restart the game. I don't know what happened. Sometimes people will do that for lag. But I don't know if that's happening this time. <sighs> it's rather ignominious starts. We'll just... Once this gets going again, we'll get it going, hopefully, pretty soon. But... Because the game's going to be long enough as it is. But the game's already been 15 minutes, and it's only looking about halfway through. Okay. Oh, Mac had to go, and now... Okay, now Takeshi Box is going for a little smoke break. Anyway, yeah, so... As I was saying earlier, when it comes to... Oh, is this resource bar thing not set up? Oh, my. Anyway, when it comes to... Nada, it's a much... As you can see, much larger game than 0k is. It's much more focused on large numbers of units. Not so focused on single unit micro, though that obviously does come up somewhat since it still is the spring engine. There's still the realistic physics on projectiles. And it's really not focused as much on spreading your expansions around and then consolidating behind them. It's focused more on, cons on setting up your defenses first and then pushing your expansions forward. It's a rather different flow from 0k. Oh, 
And Pepe Ampere is in the channel. Hello, Pepe Ampere. He's one of the best players, and I believe one of the devs, too. So I say hello to him. And if he knows how to turn off the resource bars so I can turn on the... Or put on advanced playlist, that'd be nice. What the... Okay, apparently the game just drew. Perfect. Just perfect. Well, that's mildly annoying. Oh, I can turn that off. Okay, cool. Let's see, so if I turn off... Let's... Hmm... Yeah, that might work. Okay, so I'll be back shortly once the game starts up again, and for now, I'll just... I'll just put on intermission. I don't know why. The game, for some reason, just stopped. I think his Mac wasn't here. Anyway, stay tuned, everyone. We'll get this game going again, apparently. <laughs> 